Hi, I'm Margaret Ann Lembo, and I'm here with my original gemstone oracle. You could also call it a crystal oracle. And if you've been watching my YouTube videos, you'll know that how this all started. And if not, look back. Take a look at those other videos regarding the gemstone oracle and how I started with a big pile of rocks. So here we are with a big pile of rocks. And I had someone from our studio audience today come up and pick seven gemstones. So now I'm going to do an interpretation. So I have my smudge and spray here because what I like to recommend is that you always take a moment to clear the space prior to doing a little interpretation. So I say interpretation or counseling versus fortune telling or reading. I mean, I do call them readings, but this is really for inspiration for the client to get ideas and inspiration to move forward with life. Now, when um, my studio audience member picked this, she didn't ask me a question. There was no question associated with it. This is just what she was authentically attracted to out of this pile of rocks. So I believe she started here, yes, yes. So she started here, and so this is a, a picture of a, a picture. It's not a, it looks like a picture. It's actually part of uh, a gemstone goddess. So what I would say that her attraction to this would be um, to take time out for self-love and self-care and honoring that divine feminine within. The next stone she was attracted to, that's a rose quartz. This one is pre-night, but to me, it looks like a little caterpillar, you know? So this is a little caterpillar in my eyes, and this is also about self-nurturing. So this might be about nurturing the part of you that is ready to give birth, to transform, to turn into the next level, to move into that next chapter of life that you might be ready to you know, if we were doing a real counseling session, I would ask her that question. Are you about to step forward in some aspect of transformation? This is carnelian, and this is, uh, the shape of the stone is considered a cabochon, the cut of the stone, and carnelian is the stone of taking action, of actually doing something with whatever it is, you know, so we would be more specific if we were having an actual conversation with someone. So if you are watching this in this moment, so far, activate the divine feminine within and take time for self-care. Be ready to transform in a really positive way and feel freedom. Be connecting with the creative vibe and, and utilizing that creativity. And the next is blue lace agate, which has to do with divine timing for me. I always look at blue lace agate as um, being at the right place at the right time with the right people. And... Uh, lipidolite, this is a piece of lipidolite that, oops, happens to be formed in the shape of a wand or almost looks like a crayon, right? So to me, that might be about if there's um, emotions that are under the surface that need to be expressed, it might be best to start out by writing, whether it's handwriting or typing or, you know, maybe if you have some like really beautiful pens or colored pens you could pull those out and let yourself express what may need to be expressed first on paper to sort through things next is dolphin and this is a little fluoride dolphin so this is about getting some mental clarity and start out through telepathic communication so if there is something that needs to be expressed because i always think of dolphin medicine as telepathy but also i would recommend taking some time at the beach if this hasn't been uh, time to be by the ocean or uh, depending on what part of the country you live in. For those of you that are watching this, I would recommend going to a lake or some body of water. And if you can't do that, get in a bathtub <laughs> with some salt in it. <laughs> and that will help to m even go further with mental clarity. And this last stone is appetite. So this might have to do with being able to integrate everything, being able to discern and integrate and decide what applies and what doesn't and what doesn't to get rid of it to let it go to let it be it's not worth even discussing or, or talking about and just stay focused on um, what's important so I'm sure my live studio audience person doesn't want to necessarily say if this was on but I'm going to ask them if they would give me a heads up if that was pretty accurate Okay, yep, it was, yes, 
And so that's pretty cool. There you go. I would like to recommend that you play with this and give it a try. It's easier than you think. And that's how I developed and moved forward and created them into card decks. So stay tuned. There'll be more videos on how to work with the Oracle, uh, the Crystal Intentions Oracle, the Gemstone or Guardians Oracles, and using the actual gemstones themselves. And then to finalize the session, another little spritz or two or three of smudge and spray to clear the energy before the next client. Thank you so much for watching. This is Margaret Ann Lembo signing off.